Let's turn to the gas tracker. Take a look here in Knoxville first, where the average price for a gallon of regular hit 283 today. That's according to AAA's website. That's up five cents from yesterday, nearly 15 cents from a week ago. Across the state, Tennesseans are paying 286 on average, and that's up five cents from yesterday as well. We are still doing better than the national average, though. It sits right now at 302. Knoxville-based pilot company says it's working to cope with the panic buying as well. Like we've been telling you, it's not a shortage of gas, just the means to get the gas to stores. We talked to a pilot executive today who says this is not like anything they've really had to deal with in a long time. You know, the Colonial is such a predominant provider of fuel supply into the southeast and all the way up into New Jersey that uh, when that goes down, uh, obviously, and we've had issues before, or there's been, you know, line ruptures, et cetera, but we've never had, you know, all of the pipelines down at the same time. So there are two pipelines that basically run side by side. And when they've had issues in the past, they could just keep one running and then, you know, do the maintenance or whatever needed to be done on the other one. But this was the first time that we've had all of those lines down. So we knew that it was going to be a challenge and it's always a challenge because what you're really trying to do is buy time time before the product they had in stock ran out. He says the company went into a preservation mode and put policies in place to conserve fuel. He added that even though this was such a unique situation, they've had some practice like hurricanes in the summer months, which slow fuel coming from refineries. He says just like then, it may take some time, but the gas will be back to normal eventually.